Morrison County was organized in 1856, two years before Minnesota became a state, and it was named for fur traders Allen and William Morrison. When a city received designation as the county seat, it was great for business, since it helped to create a stable local economy, centered on the steady stream of court cases and legal filings that encouraged lawyers and real estate agents to establish offices near the courthouse. In addition, it provided employment for local citizens who processed county records and managed the county jail. The first meeting of the Board of Commissioners was held in the Northern Hotel at Little Falls on May 1, 1856. A short time later, plans were underway for the first courthouse, but it proved to be a disaster. It was to be a wood frame structure in the Greek Revival style located on the courthouse square, an area that had been set aside in the original town plat. But builder William Sturgis failed to finish the interior, and the county commissioners held up payment for 12 years. In 1890, in the midst of an economic boom, the county decided that a grander building was needed. The architect Charles A. Dunham of Des Moines, Iowa, was known throughout the Midwest for his monumental public buildings, and his design for Morrison County followed the Richardsonian Romanesque style that was highly popular at that time. Note the multiple towers and turrets and the heavy round arched windows. But here, Little Falls brick and granite provided a local flavor. The clock in the four-story tower came later, a gift from Josiah Page. Page was a prosperous farmer who had served in the army during the Civil War and then moved to the Midwest. This is his legacy to the town. The Morrison County Courthouse is also a testament to historic preservation. Like many counties in the 1960s, the commissioners considered expanding into new quarters. A local outcry convinced the county to build annexes for more space while preserving the core historic courthouse. The building has been home to nonprofit agencies since 1991, and you're encouraged to step inside to see the beautifully restored interiors. Soon after it was built, a writer stated, This courthouse is an ornament to the county and a monument to the wisdom and good sense of the officers and taxpayers of Morrison County. That remains true even today. <laughs>